Holy moly, is a stock split coming for AMC? Not the stock split you may think of where uh, Chipotle is $2,000 plus per share and they split their stock one for 50 and it trades for, let's say, $50 afterwards. No, we're talking about a reverse stock split. I came across this very fascinating article talking about just this that was posted about four hours ago. I want to share that with you here in this video, give you my take on if this is going to happen, why this would happen, is this good or bad? Because um, the AMC may be forced to do a reverse stock split. So let's get into it, guys. Hit that like button as well as subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think about this information down below in the comment section. So came across this article. Here's why AMC may announce a stock split this year. Just boom, right in your face. Why AMC may now may announce a stock split this year. As the largest movie theater chain in the world, AMC Entertainment has had more roller coaster leaps and dives than than an Indiana Jones movie with numerous entertaining and infuriating events at each junction for shareholders. Due to current market conditions and the result of business decisions made by management over the past few years, there are a number of reasons for an argument to be made that AMC may announce a reverse stock split sometime before the end of 2024. First, though, some context. Come back after being on the ropes. Uh, becoming a meme stock gave AMC a new lease on life as it hopes or a on life as it was on the ropes and about to go down for the count. Taking advantage of social media, AMC engaged in some silly PR stunts and dubious business decisions. For an example, it gave out free popcorn and CEO Adam Aaron gave a 2021 interview on YouTube without wearing pants. Such moves had analysts shaking their heads and drafting AMC obituaries. Then again, thanks to Reddit and Robinhood, AMC rose Phoenix-like from the ashes to soar again, and this time as a meme stock, raising the company's profile gave AMC stock price a boost, which the company then ex inexplicably used to purchase a gold mine. Yeah, uh, some questionable decisions for sure over the years. AMC announced a 1 for 10 reverse stock split in 2023, but subsequent management moves resulted in even greater stock dilution. AMC then proceeded to execute a complex plan to recapitalize going forward. In August of 2023, AMC executed a 1 for 10 reverse stock split purposely to raise the stock price and make it a more viable to institutions for investment. However, AMC also needed to raise more capital, so it created a new type of preferred stock units that were... Uh, acronym, acronymed as APES, AMC Preferred Equity Units, which were sold to raise more money. A subsequent shareholder vote was held to issue additional common stock for further capital raising, which would convert the APES into new common stock, albeit with old common shares converting to 1 to 13 for the common stock shares. This triggered a class action lawsuit that, long story short, AMC subsequently won. It then issued and uh, estimated, issued, uh, 48 million more shares, which raised an additional 350 million and reduced debt by 62 million in December of 2023. However, while AMC now has more capital, continuing its theory continuing in theoretical ex exhibition a platform that a number of analysts believe is a dying business model raised new questions for at for Aaron and company. Here are three reasons why a reverse stock split announcement may be in AMC's future. Uh, it says video streaming. Uh, I, I'm going to skip past that because that's, you know, not really relevant. Soaring pr uh, food price inflation. And I say that's not relevant. Of course, that's an issue longer term for AMC. But people are still going to go to theaters. Theaters are still going to be around. Question is, do they kind of uh, grow? Do they kind of stay in that typical sense of, you know, where how they are right now? Do they shrink in size? Does the overall business, you know, shrink? How do things go? From here, now it says um, soaring food price inflation. That's interesting. It says a relatively well-known secret of the movie theater business is that the concession stands are the highest margin in-house businesses. While AMC's margins for ticket sales are 52%, its food and beverage margins are normally 81%. AMC's cost for popcorn, nachos, candies, sodas, and other concessions favorites have all risen during the past uh, or the post 2020 inflation price hike, and those prices are still rising that's interesting because uh i i didn't realize the margins were that good for um concessions obviously i figure they were pretty good but how is amc not more profitable today <laughs> with those kind of margins 
that's insane. It, it says the price is in the penny stock territory. One of the rationales for the 2023 reverse stock split was the stock price uh, to get the stock price high enough to make it attractive to institutional investors. With market price at the time of this writing under $5, but with considerably greater dilution from the 48 million shares issued in December, AMC find itself in the same predicament, only now with a greater urgency. In order to make deals to address the above items, AMC needs to support needs the support from the capital markets while it still has loyalty among shareholders and social media followers. AMC has certainly been a wild ride for shareholders. Can it pull, pull together another rabbit out of the hat? The entertainment business has seen more astonishing comebacks in the past. So perhaps Adam Aaron has more excess up his sleeve and a reverse stock split might be one of them. Um, well, well, let's revise that. Let, let, let's go back to August of 2023. Wow. Uh, yeah, the reverse stock split. Um did not <laughs> help AMC at all. In fact, AMC has dropped 90% since the last reverse stock split. Okay, so here's the deal. If AMC does reverse stock split, then they lower the share count of standing. And then what happens? They are able to raise more capital at higher prices. Markets don't like that. Markets don't like a reverse split. So you can just raise capital. So what will happen? AMC stock will fall even more and your equity it will become even less and even less than it was before. A reverse stock split, if that ever comes up for a vote, is an absolute no, right? Absolutely. That, that would be terrible for AMC if you were to see a reverse stock split. You know, all Adam Aaron has to do, and I've been very clear on this, and uh, I don't know how Adam Aaron doesn't realize this by now, all Adam Aaron has to do to get AMC stock higher is say, okay, markets, we're not going to dilute the stock for three to six months. Go with a, a direct number, say three or say six months or a year for that matter. AMC stock would rise. Shorts would cover on their short positions. It would be miraculous. Like, wow, <laughs> uh, the business, the management of the business didn't think of that. That's crazy, right? That's all you have to do to get AMC stock to rise exponentially from where it is today. That's it. Simple as that. Like, couldn't be more simple than that. But to give you a, another reverse stock split, is an absolute no. You would not want to see that. AMC stock would rise, and then it would fall back down again, but you would just have less equity this time around, and you would essentially just lose money. Now, I think with AMC, the stock is priced for bad things. The stock is not priced for a fantastic future. So I think from a fundamental perspective, the company is trading you know, alongside the fundamental, you know, prospects of the business. I think that's pretty clear at this point. But, you know, it can always get worse. But I don't think it's likely to get worse from here. I think this writer's actor strike, the headwind from that is starting to go away, especially as we head into Q2 and we should start to get, you know, uh, bigger movies that do go to theaters. We should start to see better numbers coming in, hopefully AMC becoming more profitable. The true problem with AMC, the reason it is where it is, is the debt. AMC's debt, that debt wall coming due in 2026, is a problem. And if we were to get a reverse split, that's why we would get it, is because of that debt wall that uh, is just so large right? There's over $2 billion of debt coming due in 2026. AMC has what? $700 million or so of cash and cash equivalents on their balance sheet. They have to raise capital. They'll never be able to, you know, uh, have enough free cash flow to pay off $2 billion worth of debt. Now, to the contrary, if you do see some rate cuts from the Fed, maybe they are able to refinance some of their that debt, extend those maturities out, kick the can down the road a little bit further. And I think that would be good for AMC in the meantime. But you still have that problem, that debt wall in 2026. And if the Fed does not cut rates quickly or aggressively, then AMC is going to be in 
a much larger problem. I ultimately think the most likely scenario here is not an, not another reverse stock split. I think the most likely scenario here is that we actually do get a commitment not to dilute shareholders. And when we get that commitment, that's when AMC stock is going to start doing exponentially better. And I think if we were to get that commitment, AMC stock would pretty shortly thereafter rise above $10 per share back to 15, 20, you know, in, in the $20 ranges um, as far as you know, the stock itself, because I think you would start to see a lot of shorts start to cover on short positions. But that's only my opinion. I'm just one guy. You know, don't 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 hate the messenger. Uh, I just yeah, hope hopefully this does not happen. Hopefully this is not something uh, the management team is thinking of. But if they're not going to give us a commitment not to dilute shareholders to get the stock up that way, they may have to do a reverse stock split. And and I think at this point, most of you guys have lost pretty much everything in AMC. Thank you, Adam Aaron, for that. Appreciate it, dude. Wouldn't 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 rather have it any other way. Um, uh, that that would be another uh, kick in the no no zone, if you will. So, uh, yeah, could be a little uh, problematic. Let me know what you think about this information down below in the comment section. Hit the like button as well as subscribe to the channel. You guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.